Hello, everyone. Today we will show you how to create task for INSDgram in following like. First, in the account manager tab, select INSDgram and then click add option to add a category below it. Now, we can add accounts for this category. Here are two ways to add account. One is to click add button. On the pop-up form, you can bind proxy for the account. The other way is to click import button to import multiple accounts from your CSV or text file in your PC directly. After importing the accounts successfully, select the category we added just now, then you can see the imported accounts on the right side. Select the accounts, click start button, and then you can view the detailed information about the accounts. Such as name, photo amount, following amount, follower amount. After finish importing accounts, now we need to create task for these accounts. On the task manager tab, here we can create any task for our accounts. Click add button to add a name for the task. On the pop-up form, we choose to create a task for INSTagram. On this form, it mainly executes module to run the task. Now I will show you how to create task using module. Select and right click it, and then we can add any modules we need. Such as search users module, search photo module, search followers module, and so on. I will show you how to create a simple task. First, add an account module, and the function of it is to let us select account to run the task. Here, you can select how to use the accounts. Select it from the first row, from the last row or randomly. We have imported only one account, so here we will just select from the first row. The function of this option is to select how to deal with the account which has been used. Don't delete it, delete it, move it to the last row of the account list, or move it to the first row of the account list. Here, we select don't delete. Add a search user module. The function of it is to search users for your account. Here, we only can select the account we just added in account module. Input the keyword you want to search. If there are multiple keywords, please use comma to separate them. If we click this option on, each time the program executes the search users module, it will automatically continue to search from the last search position. So it helps us avoid searching the same data again. Input the search amount you need. Select how to deal with the searched data. How to deal with the data which has been used. Add a follow module, and then the function of it is to follow the users we searched in the search users module. Here. Select the users we searched out in search users module. Select account to follow the users. There, we can set the interval time to follow each user. Select the running times you need. On the search users module, we only searched 5 users. So here, we will let the task to run 5 times. Select the result to return. You can select this option to return the follow successful users or follow failed users. Now, we have finished the task, it is very simple. Of course, if you want your task to be more complicated, you can continue to add module for it. Add a search photo module. Select account to search. Input the keyword you want to search. The setting of this interface is very similar with the search users modules. So we won't introduce all the options again.
Add a like module to like the photo which is searched out in search photo module. The setting of its interface is very similar with the follow modules. So we also won't introduce these options again. Add a comment module. Here, it can comment on the like successful photo or the entire searched out photos. On the comment source option, we need to select the content of the comment. So, add a text module before the comment module. Here. You can click the import button to import the prepared content of comment from your PC. Or just input them one by one manually. Select how to use the text and how to deal with the used text. Now, let's be back to the comment module. Select the text module as the comment source. Now, this task is basically completed, you can run the task at 24 sevenths all the time. Each time the search data will be different, so the account can follow different users, like different photos, and also the comment also can be different. Here, you can use RSS to get data. Use spin to deal with the text. You can create any task you need via combining different modules. Add a sleep module for the task. When the task runs and finishes one time, it will sleep a moment, and then run the task again. The unit of the time can be milliseconds, second, minute, and hour. After set all, click OK. Select the task we created just now. You can view the details of it on the right side. Now, click Run button to run the task. On the pop-up form, we can select the run mode. The run times, loop run, or run it on a schedule time. After set all, click OK. See, the task is running. Total times of success mean the total amount of success of this task. Current times of success mean the current amount of success of this task. Here, it shows follow failed. It may be the network error or other reasons caused that. After it failed to follow, you can reset the task to do the follow work or just skip it directly. Select the task, you can view the task running details on the interface of task unit details. Yellow means the task is running. White means the task is not running or waiting to run. Green means the task runs success. We can see that after the task finish running one time, and then it starts to run again after sleep a while. Now, we have finished running the task. Of course, you can click stop button to stop it directly if you do not want to run it. 
Next time, when you're open this task, you can continue to run it from the last stopped position. Now, we have successfully introduced how to create a task for INSDGram. Please go to learn how to create a task for Facebook and Pinterest referring this video. Thanks for watching.